Hello, it's Anne Murphy here from Domesticity. How are you? And welcome to my kitchen. Um, tonight I just wanted to share with you what was in my fridge and how I use it. I'm um, just having a bit of a lazy day. I had planned to um, cook dinner in the slow cooker today and um, the day just got away from me. I thought, oh, it's easy enough to cook in the oven, but it's another hot night, so I'm, I've got the oven on behind me and um, dinner's nearly done. My husband had to go out to pick something up, so I'm sitting here in the air conditioning, but once I get my um, head in the fridge, I'll cool down again. Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. Let me know you're here, say hi. Um, I'm going to just try and uh, maneuver this phone so that I can um, show you while I'm holding the phone. I need some kind of gadget, I think some little stick thing so that I can do it more easy. But um, let's go and let's see what's in my fridge. Um, I just got to turn this around. So, it may not look like a lot compared to um, other people's fridges, but um, to me there's still lots in here and uh, other than the fruit and vegetables which will be need to be topped up um, by the, the weekend I've still got um, quite a lot of food to hi Bonnie how are you um, still a lot of food to to use and we're not going to starve um, anytime soon so let's start from the top this is my little um, dairy section so I normally buy a one kilo block of um, home brand tasty cheese and I put half in um, the freezer and half in a container here and it's sliced smaller so that um, the kids can get to it easy. Sometimes they just grab a, a chunk and start eating it. I've got um, a new pack of butter there ready to go and some grapes still left from Christmas. Um, they're still doing okay and the chocolate custard from Christmas is still okay. Um, Still got um, a little bit of time to use up on it, but something like that I'm going to probably just put into an ice block mould and make um, ice blocks for the kids. So I've still got a few eggs left from Christmas. We're not big egg eaters here. I think that's because I'm not a big uh, egg eater. I don't like eggs. I don't ha hate runny eggs, but... Um, an egg on a burger or an omelette or a scrambled egg sometimes I can um, stand or cold eggs in salad but or used in a salad but they're mainly there for baking and binding and if the kids want them they can have them so I have um, basil pesto normally some kind of pesto uh, that's just really good to have um, to change up a simple pasta meal uh, to give it a bit of flavor or just to even Add a spoonful into your uh, pasta sauce if you haven't got dried or fresh basil. I've got what's that at the back? I've got lots and lots of little jars. I think that's what helps me um, create such a variety uh, with my menus and the dishes that we eat because just a, a little jar of something can just add so much um, flavour to your meal and change it up. Oh my goodness, why did I hide that? Okay, so that's probably a good reason why I did a dark chocolate and sea salt crunchy peanut butter. That should probably stay at the back, I think. And um, I just use one of these little file trays um, to keep a lot of the jars in. There's just things like mang um, chutney, you know, mango. All these little chutneys are great on sandwiches, but they're also great for a really quick dip um, for vegetables or if you're entertaining and you are uh, having a, friends over, added to a bit of Greek yogurt or um, cream cheese. They're two things that I normally have in the fridge. So I've got mango chutney, I've got um, this Indian spice paste. These are the continental um, spice pastes that I think I shared about. Um, they come in Indian, Thai, Spanish, Italian, and they keep for ages in the fridge and they're just really yummy for an all-purpose type paste so you don't have to make like a korma with it you can make korma and 
or you could make a vindaloo or you could make any kind of Indian dish just toss it through some cooked cauliflower and potato as a side I've still got some lemon curd left there which is good just to have on um, pikelets or pancakes or fill little tart shells or um, just to have on toast um, if I do have an abundance of lemons I would normally make it but this was on special one day at Coles so I thought it was good to have in the fridge I'm surprised I still have some left because I do love it um, jams you know I've got we're not big toast eaters toast and jam eaters but you know I do like um, jam on pikelets or pancakes and um, that they're also good to stir through muffins when you have um, when you make muffins you can make like a a blueberry uh, ripple through your muffin dough so just put a spoonful of jam in the middle and you've got a um, jam in the middle hi Amanda how are you thanks for joining um, there's things like seafood sauce things that we don't eat a lot of but you know they they do keep for a long while just your normal uh, must, sweet mustard pickle I think I've got a couple of jars of those um, an empty jar of corn relish just about or that'll do for a sandwich tomorrow so just some mustards and um, tartare sauce sorry I think I'm looking in the fridge but I'm finding it hard to hold my my phone as well so I'll just put them back um, I also have these um, liners in my fridge I sell these in the Domesplicity shop and I think they're just they're silicon type um, slip mat I think there's about four in a pack and they come in a couple of different colors but they're so good for um, cleaning up spills in the fridge and if you've got children you'll know exactly what I mean so um, I just have to instead of pulling everything out I just have to pull the mat out and um, just wash it in the dishwashing in the sink just to um, keep it clean it just saves on a lot of time I'll drop the link for those um, silicon mats uh, after the broadcast I've got some tin beetroot there it doesn't matter what container it is I do have the beetroot store but you know the drainer type thing I've got Greek yogurt um, I haven't opened yet I bought that on Sunday that's just the type of brand I use and I just use it for sweet and savory and um, breakfasts and all sorts of things blueberries I bought that's the other half of the mango that I've I used for the fish dish um, the other day and my son and I were going to have a mango smoothie this afternoon and we went to the library instead and when we got home my husband got home and it just sort of all um, went from there and here I am so but um, I also have these two um, clear containers that I got from Kmart I think they might have been if they could have been four dollars or eight dollars each and they're really good um, the kids can see at a glance what fruit that I've got and with school holidays that they're, they're really not eating a lot of fruit but I just bought a couple of peaches and um, if they don't get used up I'll make some peach iced tea or stew them and freeze them and then I can make them into a cake or muffins I also have some of this um, non-slip stuff in the bottom too which sort of stops the fruit from rolling around and then I have my salad ingredients in there if I do have a lot of if I buy a lot of salad ingredients I've got one of those Tupperware dishes um, those long skinny ones you know that they made for the celery so um, that would normally probably go in there where the dog food is just move things around and um, that's all I've got in my um, crisper I've just got another backup of lettuce and tomatoes and I normally line my crisper dish with um, a chucks which can be cleaned and reused and I should have done that on Sunday, I think, when I bought um, my last lot of vegetables, but I just didn't get around to it. Onions and broccoli, and I'm going to use the rest of the broccoli um, tonight for dinner. Oh. Even though I've got my head in the fridge, I'm still still hot being next to the oven. So um, just a bit of sandwich ham. I keep the sandwich ham in the freezer normally. Um, just cream cheese as you can see I buy I shop at Coles and I buy everything home brand just about 
a um, little bit of red onion still there that will get used in a salad um, tonight. You store your potatoes and onions in the fridge, yes, Beck. I was actually wondering if someone was going to notice that because um, I've been told that it's not good to do that, but because it's so muggy here in Brisbane and um, really hot and humid all the time, I have been known to keep them out of the fridge and they'll be rotten within a couple of days. So I've just always kept my potatoes and onions in the fridge. And I, I think I got told that the potatoes um, emit some kind of gas or something. I can't remember now what it was, but I've just always done it. So, and we're still alive. So whether we're dying a, a slow death or what, I don't know, uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, so more um, more um, things here. I've got apple sauce. I normally buy that cheap from um, the Golden Circle shop. And that's good for a natural sweetener in um, making cakes and everything. Oh, okay. Thanks, Beck. Beck just said, if you wrap your red onion in foil, it stops onion from smelling your fridge out. Okay, thank you. I just normally put it in a Ziploc bag. Yeah, it's nearly ready, lovey. Um, just crushed garlic. I always have crushed garlic um, in the fridge and olives, lots of olives. My husband and I are olive lovers. Uh, this is the Spanish paste, um, that the continental one, uh, like the Indian one, and it's really good if you want to make Spanish flavoured dishes. It's kind of got like a smoky... Um, Smoky capsicum type flavour. Uh, I don't know, it's just really good, you know, just meat and potato type things, just to add a bit of a change to um, a stew or something, or, you know, like a patatas bravas, which is the Spanish type um, potato dish, if you know a little bit about Spanish food. And I'm, wow, look at this, that's it's an absolute miracle. I've, there's actually water in the water dish. Anyone else with kids know that you'll always find an empty milk carton or empty water jug in the fridge. Um, my kids are like that. Uh, I just used the last of their milk tonight. Um, I get those pastes. These are continental pastes, um, Bonnie. And they're normally in the... Yeah, I, got, I get them from the Golden Circle Shop and they were like a dollar each. But I've seen them at Coles. And they're in, um, I think, where all those other pastes are, like the Thai pastes and Indian pastes and everything. And they actually come in a little, they've got like a cardboard box um, that they sit in. Um, I'm not sure what the recommended retail price is, but for a dollar, you know, you can't go past them. And, you know, I just keep them in the pantry until I'm ready to use them and then um, keep them in the fridge. And, you know, like the Indian or the Thai ones, um, no one likes spicy in my house except me. So... All the curries and that are usually pretty mild so um, I you know a little bit goes a long way when I'm using them so um, yeah I should check coals again next time I'm there because I think they they still use them they could have been maybe about four or five dollars recommended retail I I think so we've still got lots of green olives and besides just eating olives like that too you know you can just whiz them up and um, use it as a tapenade, you know, like to put on toast, toasted bread like um, bruschetta or even to top a piece of salmon or fish and um, just grill it or um, like we use them in salads or eat them like that. Uh, there's lots of different uses for olives, but um, yeah, I kind of just like eating them out of the bottle. Um, this is... Some home brand tomato chutney. So my husband just normally takes sandwiches uh, for work and I just always change it up with the, the different chutneys um, that are around. It's another uh, traditional fruit chutney there. And um, oh, my ex-husband bought this for my daughter because he nicknamed her Gooba um, in an attempt to restore their relationship, but it didn't, it didn't work. So... Uh, my son's eating that. Um, down here is all my um, sauces. So I don't I don't know what it is, but tomato sauce just doesn't keep in the cupboard like it used to anymore. And if I do keep it out, it just kind of like, you know, when you open a container, it sort of 
pops like um, it's gone off so I keep my tomato sauce in the fridge I've also had this for quite a while too and um, one of my husband's aunts put me onto it and it's just a budroom ginger cordial um, ginger refresher and it's just so lovely like to have with um, soda water or cold water with a bit of fresh mint crushed into it uh, for a really um, cold refreshing drink and it um, quenches your thirst really well uh, unlike just plain cold water but it's very um, full of sugar we only need a little bit it's good in a punch also if you were making um, doing some baking with ginger in it you know like a ginger cake or something like that you could substitute using that if you had um, if you didn't have powdered ginger or fresh ginger so that's what I like to do I always try to look for substitutes if I don't have exactly what it is that I need in the recipe if I've got something that resembles gin ginger or something that I resembles blueberries like blueberry jam or strawberries I'll always um, use those for substitutes um, I've got a couple of salad dressings tartare sauce more tomato sauce um, one thing that I always have in the fridge is the long life um, lime juice and the long life um, lemon juice because there's just so much that you make that just needs a squeeze of lemon juice or a squeeze of lime juice even last night when I used the avocado you know just waiting for everyone to get to the table and it starts to go brown I just sprinkle a bit of that lime juice on and I know it's not exactly the same as fresh but if I was to buy like fresh limes and lemons are pretty expensive and I don't have the luxury of having a tree in my yard so if I was just to keep them for the sake of keeping them um, they'd probably go off before I had the chance to use them so just having those two things there is um, you know it's just a good good backup and a good standby like I wouldn't use that lemon juice to say make lemon curd or a lemon icing or anything like that I'd just substitute it so um, yeah um, oh they're my Morello cherries that I had at Christmas time now I know that they're there and I know that they'll stay um, they'll keep in the fridge for a while but if not I'll um, strain them and freeze them or um, I'll start once the kids go back to school I'll start doing some baking using them I like um, I love anything sort of black forest um, orientated so if you can imagine chocolate and cherries so that's the dessert that we had for Christmas was like a chocolate and cherry layered um, individual trifle so they were really good for that but you could make like a cherry ripe cake which is just a plain um, a plain chocolate cake just with those chopped cherries put mixed through with um, a chocolate icing so anything cherry ripe black forest that's just my absolute favorite so that's um that's just what's in my fridge I won't show you my freezer tonight I've got to got to serve this dinner up and I'll be sharing um a picture soon of what we're having for dinner and like I said you know I don't have a lot in here but I only have what I know we need and um as I've mentioned a lot in my grocery haul videos I don't um oh hi Sandra how are you I don't need to just go and buy a whole heap of stuff just to keep it stocked up I just know you know been shopping like this all my life and especially since having the kids 14 years 14 years since I've been a mother that I only need to buy what will see us through for a fortnight as far far as fresh stuff goes but everything else will keep and even you know like those peaches I said if they're not going to be eaten as is I'll um, I'll freeze them um, hi Bob thanks Bonnie um, I'll freeze them the tomatoes you know I've got them assigned for salads so if um, they start to get a bit wrinkly I'll use them in my next pasta sauce or you know I'll keep an eye on the cucumber a lot of these things don't um, last all that long that's why I like to keep the fresh um, the fruit and vegetables fresh weekly and same as the blueberries you know they'll go straight into the freezer like that if they're not eaten straight away um, 
and used in a smoothie or um, in muffins or whatever so um, yeah that's about it so there's my fridge I'll drop that link um, for these fridge mats again they're also really good for in the cupboards as well you know if you've um, for your saucepans and a cut uh, crockery and all that sort of thing uh, if you just wanted to it's good for spring cleaning when you wanted to just pull those mats out and give them a, a wash in the, the sink and they come in I think pink blue and green so I got the blue kind of colors for myself but um, they're not not real cheap I think they come in they're not real expensive I mean they come in a set of four so um, stay tuned for my um, picture of my dinner <laughs> my poor I, I really don't like um I'll turn the camera back around you see I'm sweating it's hot um, I'm not one of these people to take a lot of um, pictures of food and stuff like that and we sit down to dinner and I take a picture of the food so of the meal so that I can share it here in the group just to keep keep you in the loop of showing you what um, what I make with what I buy to show you how easy it is to um, shop this way and cook this way with very very little stuff um, and they're all sitting at the table starting to eat and there I am typing away with one finger in my phone just to share the picture but um, they don't mind they've got used to it now so um, they just think it's all part of the the norm and um, that's about it so thanks very much for joining me again tonight I hope you had a nice dinner and I'll be sharing um, my dinner soon and I'll tell you what that is and how I cooked it thanks very much everybody great to see you here tonight bye